This is one of Chile's newest additions to its solar energy portfolio. Quilapilun Solar Park, 40 kilometers outside the capital city of Santiago, producing energy to supply more than 100,000 homes. It's viewed as a milestone in the clean energy transformation taking place in this country. It's very interesting because it's the biggest in, in, in the central area. Uh, we're very close to Santiago and that's the, the difference between our plant and others that are far away in the north. We decided that it was better to have the plant close to Santiago where the demand is and sacrifice a little bit the yield of the, of the plant. Chile has some of the best renewable energy resources in the world, including some of the highest levels of solar radiation on the planet. Renewable energy currently provides around 17% of Chile's total energy production. When it comes to installed solar capacity, Chile is a leader in Latin America. Now, by the year 2020, the government wants 20% of all energy production to come from renewable sources. And moving forward, the aim is even more ambitious. The shift to clean power has been so rapid that the initial targets now look modest compared to what the country could achieve. Chile's energy minister told CGTN it wants to produce 90% of the country's energy from renewable energy sources by the year 2050. In March 2014, when this government took office, energy was a problem. We had dirty energy production. It was expensive and we did not have a competitive market. What we did was change the rules of the game, giving signals to incorporate non-conventional and renewable energy to the sector. Now we are part of a major transformation and a large amount of investment that is coming in is based on renewable energy projects. Chile's renewable energy revolution has been market driven. There have been no subsidies handed out and the shift was a response to the country's reliance on imported hydrocarbons. And Chile's approach has been applauded by groups working to tackle global warming. It's absolutely essential that, uh, that, that business and government work together to accelerate the shift to renewable energy. It's going well all over the world, but it must go faster because we, we have to stay within a tight budget of how much more carbon dioxide we can put into the atmosphere before we commit ourselves to a global temperature rise of two, three, four, five, six degrees, which will be catastrophic for every country in the world. There are still many hurdles facing the renewable energy transformation, from improving technology and energy storage to building new energy grids. But the shift away from fossil fuels here in Chile is well underway. Joel Richards, CGTN, Santiago.